Now for this question, what I'd do is sketch a diagram and uh, we're told that this cyclist, I'll just put it in here, has a mass of 120 kilograms. So just mark that in as 120 kilograms. And he accelerates from rest to speed V meters per second. So I'd mark in the acceleration there as A meters per second per second. And we're told that there's a constant resistance to motion of 32 newtons. So I'll mark that in there. Remember you've got it, the cyclist weight, 120 G newtons, and you've got a reaction there a normal contact force, R newtons. And obviously this cyclist is uh, pushing quite hard. We'll mark in his force that he's pedalling with as D, D newtons. Normally I'd use D for the driving force in most problems. And uh, okay, so that's the first stage. Then once the cyclist reaches this speed V meters per second, he then goes on to carry on at a constant speed. So there's no acceleration. So if we just mark the cyclist in again here, we know that over this stretch here, there's no acceleration because it's going at a constant speed. So we'll put that as in as zero meters per second per second. So what does that mean at this stage? Well, it means that the driving force there, d newtons, must equal the resistance of 32 newtons. Okay, let's just mark in as well the weight again, 120 g newtons and that contact force of r newtons. Now to do this problem, to find out what v is at this point here, we use this situation. We know that if we were to resolve to the right, then D minus 32 newtons must equal zero because it's going at a constant speed, no acceleration. So therefore that driving force must be 32 newtons. Now we're told that the power that the cyclist is delivering, let's just mark it in here, we'll just say but the power we'll call it power P, equals 384 watts. We should know that power equals the driving force times the velocity. So therefore, when it comes to this, all we've got to do is just substitute our values in. We've got the power, we know that's 384 and that's got to be equal to the driving force, 32, times V. And to get V, all we need to do is divide 384 then by 32. And if you do that, you find you get 12 meters per second, exactly. All right?